It's a rare privilege to welcome seven current justices of the Supreme Court. Thank you all for coming. As Judge Roberts prepares to lead the judicial branch of government, all Americans can be confident that the 17th Chief Justice of the United States will be prudent in exercising judicial power, firm in defending judicial independence, and above all, a faithful guardian of the Constitution. Sessions Cornyn and Graham. I also want to thank all the other senators here with us. Uh, Senator Frist, other members of the Senate, um, I view the vote this morning as confirmation of what is for me a bedrock principle, that judging is different from politics, and I appreciate the vote very much. On this vote, the ayes are 78, the nays are 22, the nomination of John G. Roberts, Jr. of Maryland to be Chief Justice of the United States is confirmed. I ask that we think hard about the question we must answer. Is Judge Roberts qualified to lead the highest court in the land? <clears throat> I believe the answer to this question is yes. Judge Roberts possesses the qualities that Americans expect in the Chief Justice of its highest court and the qualifications that America deserves. So I weigh John Roberts' fine resume and his two years of mainstream judicial service against the Reagan-era memos, the nominee's unsatisfactory testimony, and the administration's failure to produce relevant documents. I had to reluctantly conclude that the scales tip against confirmation. <laughs> 